What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech and I'm gonna show you how to connect these smart switches to your Google Home Hub. It's really easy to do, let's get started. If you guys are interested in the Google Home speaker or the smart plugs, check out the links below. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So on the back right here, it tells you all the specs. It works up to 164 feet away from your wireless router and it's compatible for Android 4.3 or later or iOS 8 or later. So in the back right here, there's a QR code. So you scan that if you have Android or iOS and it should link you straight to the app. Let's go ahead and plug it in. As soon as you plug it in, it turns on. You see that little amber light right here. And then you can turn it off manually and turn it on manually. It also has this light sensor. So it works as a night light at night. So let's go ahead and cover that up and see if it works. Yep, there you go. And to reset this product, only thing you have to do is unplug it for 30 seconds and plug it back in. Of course, this works for the Echo as well as the Google Home Hub. You could pause the video right now and scan the code, or you could simply go to your app store and download vSync. And of course, we're gonna open and sign up for vSync. Let's go ahead and sign up. All right, once you put in your username and password, then you wanna go ahead and select sign up and click on the green button. So at this point, we're gonna add this smart plug and we're gonna hit add and we're gonna connect the Wi-Fi outlet. So they make a few different uh, outlets. We're gonna choose the US Wi-Fi outlet. Let's go ahead and start. It's telling you to press and hold the button for 10 seconds. All right, the light is flashing, just like in the picture, and then hit next. Make sure your Wi-Fi is turned on. Go ahead and set Wi-Fi now. Now, if you don't see it here, what you have to do is unplug it, wait about 15 seconds, and then plug it back in. Right, next, you wanna press and hold this button down for 10 seconds, one, There it goes. Now we can see it, select that. All right, so let's go back. After you hit the back button, now it's attempting to connect. All right, connection is successful. Hit okay when you're done. Now it's set up and you're all done. And you can turn it on and off from the app and it works. Or you can turn it on and off from the button as well. You can click on that icon right there and you can schedule when it, you want the device to turn on and off. And it tells you how much money you spent in electricity using this Wi-Fi outlet. If the Google Home app does not say update right here, then simply just open it up. That means the update's already applied. Now I have my D-Bot connected, which is my vacuum, but we're gonna add another device. So I'm gonna click on plus, and then I'm gonna click on set up device and I'm gonna set up works with Google. I have something already set up. Let's click on that. Here's vSync right here. And we're gonna put in the username and password. All right, so now it's linking the vSync app to the Google Home app. Here we go. Now after syncing the outlet to the Google Home app, I noticed that I have two duplicate icons on the screen. Well, I tested one works and one doesn't. Uh, so I did a little bit of research and I found out that Google Home reps do know about this issue and they are currently working on a patch. So expect an update to fix this issue. So select the smart plug icon right here and we're gonna add to a room. I'm gonna choose family room, hit next. And I'm gonna add that one to a room as well. So select the icon that is working that smart plug. And then we're gonna select the gear and we're gonna select name. And right, let's do, go ahead. We're gonna delete that and I'm gonna put down Christmas tree. Hit save. Now on the Google Home Hub, Everything from the app should be automatically synced to the Google Home Hub as long as the Google Home Hub is connected 
to your wireless router. Now if it doesn't work, let's go ahead and sync it. You're gonna unplug the Google Home Hub for 30 seconds and plug it back in. So after I reset the Google Home Hub, it should hopefully be synced now. Cool. Turn on Christmas tree. You got it, turning on the Christmas tree. Works. Now you can also do this, press it on and off using the on-screen app. Google, turn on Christmas tree. Okay, turning the Christmas tree on. There we go. If this video was informative, give me a big thumbs up. If you want more how-to videos like this coming your way, subscribe to Tampa Tech, click on the subscribe link right here, or the subscribe button down below. If you wanna check out my other Google tutorials, check out this playlist link right here. And if you know anyone that owns a Google Home Hub or a Google Home Speaker, go ahead and click on the share button below and share this video to them. Help someone out. Thanks guys for watching.